Hello and thank you for joining me for my very first Critique My Video video. Um, I wanted to discuss all the things I learned and the little challenges I had, um, but a lot of those are linked to various clips in the video, and it's I couldn't think of a good way to discuss those in the descriptions, and when I tried to do it in the descriptions, it get a little bit long-winded, so uh, I felt that this was just a better way of covering that type of information, and then would also be a little bit more impactful because I could talk about them you know, sequentially as they occur in the video. Um, so uh, with that being said, uh, without further ado, I will get this started. Actually, a little bit more ado, sorry. Uh, this is actually the second attempt. I did a first take that was really, really great. I didn't do a too terrible of a job with talking. I sounded like a human. I used words. They came out of my mouth correctly. However, I left the video's audio up all the way. So when the video was playing, the music in the video was playing, and I couldn't hear it because I wasn't wearing headphones. But after the fact, I went to go watch the video, see how I did, and found the music was playing, and it was a little bit louder and drowned me out a little bit. So this is take two on this particular video. So well, I'll get this started. So right on the get-go, uh, that animated title card, I learned how to do that in the Snowfall video. Uh, I went and looked up how you do that with a tutorial, and I followed the tutorial, and then my end result pretty much mimicked the end result of the tutorial, which is how those are supposed to work. However, uh, this time around, I wanted to do something that was my own. I wanted to take what I learned and apply that to something that's unique, um, and I... I I know for a fact there's a lot more that that particular um, feature can do. I just don't know what I don't know. Um, so as a uh, steps of learning go, I will keep adding to my repertoire as I learn more. But to talk about this a little bit, um, so in the Snowfall video, I followed the tutorial and it has uh, elements kind of assemble from the sides of the screen and come together and it's really cool looking. Um, and what I wanted to do at the end of that was have them assemble, sit for a little bit so you could read it. And they wanted to have the bits and pieces go off in their own directions again to disassemble. Um, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. Um, but this time around, I had a little bit of an epiphany on how I might do that since I'm kind of grasping the idea of keyframes a little bit better. Um, like the idea of an image having two different states, like the state it starts in and then state you want it to end in and then having it animate that between. And a simple example would be um, having something start off as um, transparent so you can't see it and then have it transition into fully visible. Um, but using what I figured out, I was able to get the uh, logo kind of come apart and disassemble, which is really pleased with how that worked. And I think ultimately I want to come up with some kind of uh, logo for the channel uh, and maybe a standardized intro within like a specialized intro like this for the each individual topic. Um, however, I haven't really concluded about how I wanted to do that or how I would... I think I'll wait until I learn a little bit more and then I'll think about that further because I know I'm going to come back and watch these videos at some point and just cringe about how simple it was and how I didn't know what I was doing. But that's the whole gist and the whole spirit of this channel is learning and growing and getting better. And I'm glad that people are coming along with me on that journey. So get this going. So right in the start here, really happy with how the overhead uh, shot came out. The winds were really high that day, and it looks so nice with the wind uh, whipping up the water and the seagulls flying around. Um, and I wanted to do a nice establishing shot, and I got this idea from the master shots feature of the drone, where it goes through a bunch of pre-recorded movements, and one of them was like that, lifting up the camera and viewing uh, the subject from a distance. Um, so all this is manually controlled, because I'm trying to get better at the finer controls. Um, and I realized this is a little bit of a long sequence coming in, but I thought it was really neat looking with the um, dappled sun. It was uh, partly clouded that day. Wish I could have had a little bit better sunlight, because uh, that always looks nicer on film, but you kind of work with what you got. And uh, also found that the drone really handles well, too, in the wind. Um, one thing in this scene, uh, a little bit earlier in the scene, it comes up, and I found that it's difficult to see thin things uh, with my phone, because uh, of glare, and I came pretty relatively close to some high tension power lines so it was a good learning takeaway from that to be more wary of that um, but right here i really like how this turns out with dipping the camera down as it passes over and just really need to see perspective of uh, a feature of our city that you see every day um, or maybe every other day or however frequently you go near that bridge or look at the horizon uh, but it's just need to see it from a perspective that you don't normally see it from and I really appreciate how the city looks, too. I don't really think of Green Bay as being pretty, but when you're that high up, it's just neat looking, particularly with a um, partly sunny day like this. 
Um, so I wanted to try to get more um, establishing shots, more professional looking um, angles and movements of the camera. Um, but I did find that I tend to just get that camera up in the air and uh, just do what I feel like doing, which then I end up with a bunch of video clips that aren't necessarily um, usable or they don't have smooth enough movements. So I think going forward, I'm gonna try planning stuff out a little bit more uh, when I pick a subject or a target, try maybe map it out on a piece of paper about various like approaching shots and what angles I wanna try to get. So that way I'm a little bit more consistent and end up with video clips that I could actually use for stuff. Um, so I really like the panning shots, obviously, with it being a long bridge, I think that works well. Uh, but just there I had a, um, we'll rewind it real quick. Uh, right here I was following the bridge doing a pan and that seems very simplistic, but then I realized that I wasn't parallel with the bridge and it was kind of not staying like it, panning smoothly. Um, so I do a little quartz correction to, to line it up a little bit more. Um, so that's just one of the examples is, is something that I don't do very well and I want to get better and talking about it also helps cement that fact I think. Um, so then as we come back over the bridge, uh, we can see out into the bay, and it's just so pretty. Uh, this part here, I really wish I would have moved slower, but with it being windy and the drone being over water makes me nervous, and was kind of wanted to get it down quicker. Uh, but again, with that waves, that wind was real high, gusts of 30 mile per hour winds, and the drone handled it really well. Um, there's a couple sequences where the moving sideways like this with a strafe like the panning shot the long far out panning shot um, i could see the drones rock slightly because it was fighting the wind um, but it really handles it well uh, and i just edited that part out so we didn't get to see that uh, but we're sure it would have flown a little lower so that way you could get a closer look at the seagulls but i think it looks nice as is um, i have to say that even though that you can see what the the drone sees from the first person uh, it streams 1080p to my phone connected to the controller um, but it's still nerve-wracking to be anywhere near that water like i was 20 30 feet above the water 100 feet above the water even felt a little little close but i'm sure that comfort level will come as i fly more and get more accustomed to it uh, so that that concludes my little discussion um, uh, hopefully this is a fun way to understand what's going on behind the scenes because uh, the spirit of the channel is like my videos aren't super great and I'm learning to make them better and I thought going through that process um, visually and talking about it would make it more fun and hopefully people could learn and um, get better at this particular art maybe it'll even spark someone's interest they might want to jump into it as well uh, so I really appreciate your time uh, remember to like and subscribe I um, still can't believe I say that out loud now uh, I've heard it thousands of times on YouTube and it people say it for a reason I understand but uh, again that's how I know people like it and that's how I know that people are uh, enjoying what I'm doing uh, so thank you for your time and have yourself a nice day bye